So you've heard of transfer wax, but you don't know what it is or how it's used? Well, stick around and I'm going to show you how the old school technique of transfer wax can help simplify your life at the bench using this set of castings that I've created just for you. Hey y'all, welcome back to the studio. I'm Lane Zolke of Southern Custom Engraving and this is Master Engraver TV. And I know it's been a while since our last episode, but I'm back for a new season with a quick tip for you about transfer wax. So what is transfer wax? It's basically a little tin of tallow and beeswax mixed together that can be rubbed into a master plate or an engraving lift it off with tape and placed onto another object to be engraved without having to redraw each time. It's great for things like silverware where you need to transfer the same letter from one piece to another without having to redraw each time. Now to demonstrate the method I've created a set of special master plates in these castings and we're going to transfer the scroll backbone from this plate onto a practice plate. Now one of the things that beginners often have the most trouble with early on in engraving is learning how to draw proper scroll backbones. And this plate contains two different backbones along with two different scroll pattern outlines. And you'll be able to use these to transfer the pattern from here onto a practice plate that you can engrave in your own shop. So let's get over to the bench. I'll show you how to transfer these scroll backbones onto a practice plate. And after we're done, I'll tell you where you can buy a set of these castings for yourself. Now you'll only need a few tools to do this technique. The first is a small pot of transfer wax, like this Sam Alfano's transfer wax. Or you can make up some on your own with a stick of chapstick and a bit of beeswax. I've mixed some of this up in this small pot with a bit of lamp black to color it. It comes in handy every now and then on lighter surfaces. The next thing that we're going to do is prepare a clean practice plate like you see here. It needs to be sanded flat and smooth so that the wax readily sticks to it and you can see the, the image. The next thing that you're going to need is your master plate or in this case we're going to use the casting with our engraving outlines. You'll rub a bit of the transfer wax under your thumb and then firmly rub it into the lines of the engraving. Next we'll take a clean white sheet of paper and lightly wipe the surface of the master plate. We're trying to remove all the excess wax from the surface but leave it in the engraving or in the lines. Next we'll take some standard scotch tape or magic tape and lay it directly onto the surface of the master plate. In this case I'll double the width of the tape up so that I can reach all the way to the top of the scroll backbone. Once that's done, you're going to want to firmly rub the tape into place with your thumb and finally go over everything with a burnisher to make sure the tape pushes into the grooves and picks up some of the transfer wax. The next step is going to be to carefully lift the tape away from the master plate. And when we finish this you'll see the scroll backbones clearly on the back side of the tape where they've lifted the wax from the cuts. 
Now that we have the image lifted, we're going to carefully place it onto our practice plate. Try not to smudge anything. Once that's done, we'll wipe it down with our thumb, thereby transferring the wax from the tape onto the plate. As I peel the tape away here, you can see the image has now been transferred to the plate lightly with the wax. Now often if the image is simple, you can engrave right over the top of the wax if you're not worried about wiping it away. But if it's a more complex image and you're going to be spending more time cutting, it's worth it to take a scribe and lightly scribe over all of the wax image. That way if you wipe a finger across it accidentally, you won't wipe your image away. Now you can readily see the scribe lines and you don't have to worry about running the risk of wiping the image away as you're cutting. From this point, you're ready to cut. Now here's that scroll sample plate side by side. On the left you can see I've got just the outlines and the backbones and on the right is the entire finished design. You can use the first plate to transfer a set of backbones or an entire outline onto your own practice plate and practice cutting while using the second plate for reference. These are a handy little tool for the beginner who hasn't quite learned to draw perfect scroll backbones yet. It'll allow you to transfer a nice set of backbones onto a plate so you can feel what it's like to cut them. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully transfer wax is a technique that you can use in your own studio to help your life uh, be a little bit simpler at the bench. Now I've created this set of castings with the beginner in mind. You'll be able to use the first plate to transfer a set of clean scroll backbones onto a practice plate of your own. You'll also be able to transfer these two scroll designs onto a practice plate and shade them the way you'd like to. The second plate in the set contains the finished engraving so you'll be able to use it as reference. If you purchase the set be sure to stick around for the second video in this series which will show you how the original plate was cut to make this set of castings. If you'd like to purchase the set you can find them at www.southerncustomengraving.com. If you'd like to purchase some Sam Alfano's transfer wax you can find it at grstools.com. I'll include links to those in the description below the video. Till next time, keep your gravers and your pencil sharp, have fun at the bench, and be sure to like and subscribe.